Hi, I'm Scott Jasek, editor of Inside Higher Ed, uh, and I've got a, the honor of moderating a great panel here today. For us, thinking about foreign students is similar to thinking about domestic students, and, the, and our challenge is to think about ways to make it both affordable and accessible, and that's true, like I said, for, for domestic students and for international students. And part of that is why we're thinking hard about how can we extend our online offerings. We're really a little bit focused here on technological change. You know, how is this changing what we can deliver to our, our students? But there's a whole set of cultural and institutional and organizational change around how our courses are packaged, around things like transfer credit, that we really haven't yet dug deeply into. I do think the things that we're looking at today, what constitutes a degree, what constitutes a course, in how many minute segments we're gonna deliver the content of our course, we're gonna see those things change over the next decade or two, almost as fundamentally as we're seeing the technology change. But at the end of the day, the question will be, uh, and this is to the point of, of, of blending, uh, the question is going to be, what will the effect be of global online education for the desire to have the experience to be on a campus, whether in the US or in different kinds of spaces that might be created on universities or off uh, in global, in global contexts. There's a way in which what online does is it actually enhances the value of the face-to-face. -face. Right. And so you can watch, you know, a thousand TED Talks, but you still want to go to the TED conference. And that becomes, in fact, in some ways, even a greater privilege, not to mention uh, a greater expense, uh, as a result of the online dissemination of the kinds of things that go on in particular places at particular times. Mm -hmm.